There's one thing you need to know before building LEGO. In fact, don't build anything until you know this fact. And it's that one brick is equal to three plates on top of each other. And one 2x2 two two sidewards brick is equal to five plates on top of each other. Armed with this crucial knowledge, I made an entire mock based off this one concept. I call it the Battle of the Tar Pits. But how did I use that fact to make this? Well, let's get into it. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. As I'm making my Dinosaur Mock series, I was reminded of the La Brea Tar Pits. Now, there were no dinosaurs there, mostly prehistoric mammals. But what if there were? Bruh. So I started this mock by making a big wall and laying it on its side. Then I made these two six plate tall halves that should fit together just right. Yeah, look how seamless that looks. Now I'll show you why I made it sidewards in the first place. With this thing on its side, I could put Technic holes in where I could attach the dinosaur's head and its hands so it looks like it's drowning in the tar. It also allowed me to put stuff like bubbles, some bones, and even this T-Rex skull. Fun fact, there has been a human found in the La Brea tar pits. And to finish up the landscape, I added a new kind of plant. Since the Cretaceous period had a lot of ferns, I went on Bricklink and got these cool fern pieces that LEGO introduced pretty recently and made a prehistoric looking fern tree thing. Then I added a Spinosaur. Wait, a Spinosaur? Set 75935 has a Baryonyx. And since Baryonyx is a Spinosaur, I thought that if I got it and then added the spine from the old uh, early 2000s Spinosaur set, I can get an updated Spinosaurus. And fighting it, of course, would be the Anti-Dino Guard. Since this is Stories by the Brick and every story needs a protagonist, I made one for the Anti-Dino Guard. I shall name him Richard Tip. Actually, I'm bad at names. Let's just call him Protag for now. With that, it's time to sit back and enjoy the story.